Good day. My name is Joseph Opera Manike. I am an opera singer, um, a, a singing teacher at the Musical Society of Nigeria Diploma School of Music, uh, Muzon Diploma School of Music, and I'm also the head of opera at uh, Muzon Diploma School of Music at, at Muzon Center. Um, I I, what I'm going to do today is um, give you give a little tips on how to prepare for a performance using one song as a case study. And the song I'm going to use is Do Beast the Rule. Um, I decided to choose this. Um, it's not um, in English. It's in, it's, in, it's in German. And it's written by Franz Schubert. And um, I hope um, we'll... We'll walk through it and see how we can get this um, rolling. Okay, now, there are things you have to first of all consider. Why do you have to pick this song? What are you doing it with for? What, where do you want to perform it? And um, um, so, so many questions you can ask yourself. Why am I singing this? Let's assume you, this is for, a, for an audition or you want to do this in a performance or this is your school recital or ex exam. How do you prepare this song? And even if you have heard it before or you've not heard it before or you have learned it before or, or whatever, let's assume this is a new song to you. How do you prepare this particular song? How do you learn it? How do you approach it? Where do you start from? I'm going to give a stepwise um, um um, I'm going to give on the stepwise approach for us to walk on this through. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is, what is this song all about? And that takes us to step one, which is you have to research about this song and know everything about this. Try as much as you can to find out more information about the, the composer gets information about what this song is all about, gets information about the circumstances surrounding um, this composition, gets information about some of uh, the, the, the poet, the poem, where is it from, who is the poet, what is this music all about. So these are the things you need to look into while you're doing research. And the key point you need to find out by like, okay, who is this composer? What period is Frank, Frank, Franz Schubert? Um, when was he born? So let's say, when did he write this? This was written in 1823. And what collection is it from a work is it from an oratorio? Is it from an opera? You need to figure out. So by the time you find out where this is from, okay, for instance, this particular, this um, Du Bist de Rue is um, uh, a collection entitled Four Songs by Ruket and Graf Platten. They also, they went forward to say that the text comes from Oxlische Rosen, that is Oriental Rose, Oriental Roses, yeah, plural, a collection of untitled poem, the name which Schubert chose himself. And you look at it, okay, how is a poem set? The, the researcher here went further to say he set this poem in a, in a simple, almost religious expression of self-love. So this is the a, a, a hint, a very good hint for you to understand, but because this book has already shown it, um, what this book is is the language of song, the language of song, and that's where this is from. And let's say, what is it? He sets this poem in a simple almost religious expression of self-love and what is it saying to beast the rule der friede mild die sehnsucht du und was sie stillt ich weihe dir vor lust und schmerz zur vernunft hier mein aug 
und Herz. Kehr ein bei mir und schließe du still hinter dir die Pfosten zu. Treib an der Schmerz aus dieser Brust. Voll sei dies Herz von deiner Lust. Von deiner Lust. So, das ist this this is what this is written in it in in german so but what are we saying here do base the rule you are rest the gentle peace you are longing and what steals it i dedicate to you full of joy and pain as a dwelling hear my eyes and heart come in Come into me and close the door quietly behind you. Drive all the pain from this breast. May my heart be filled with your joy. This canopy of my eyes is lit up by your radiance alone. Oh, feel it completely. If you if you if you if you pause and go back on this video, you find you you realize where this is heading to. All, this is just a selfless love, as in you're declaring love to yourself, selfless love, almost religious expression of selfless love. So you have to go through this, you have to understand what the poet is saying here, and you have to understand the context. Why did he, why did he write this kind of poem? What, what was happening around him? And, and when you get all these pictures, it will help you in the direction in which you are going to use to learn and perform this. Okay, so we move to the next um, next um, step, which is looking at the music. Okay, I'm going to go through the text and see how it is, how it's pronounced. But how do I do that? There's what they call IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. So we use International Phonetic Alphabets to work on our music. So what do you have to do here? <clears throat> a whole lot of things you need to do here. You need to use IPA. If you have pencil, this is very important. You use your pencil and mark the IPA. If you don't have the IPA, there are a lot. Of, um, there are some websites that you can get IPA. There are the one I know is ipasource.com. You can find a way around it and get that and buy the IPA. But this book, which I have in front of me here, the uh, the language of song has already given IPA of this song. So it's important to have idea of how the IPA look like and this is how it looks like okay so by the time you mark up this ipa you find you need to also check where are uh, the accents it's because it's in the in the ipa it's written there and you have something like a mark somewhere showing you this is the accent this is the syllabus that has the accent of every word if it is uh, um, if it's just one syllable in a word, in a, in a, in a word, then that's fine. But in, 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 in when it is two syllables, three syllables, or more than that, there should be one that has that carries the accent. So the IPA shows you all those things. So we are going to look more about that in in deeply in another video to see how we can walk around that but in, 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 after doing this ipa markup on your on your on your music and writing out the ipa the next thing you have to think about is also the translation you have done the marking out or writing out the ipa with your pencil on your music, then you use the same pencil. Uh, any other pencil, not, 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 recessly, not necessarily the same pencil, but you use the same. You do use a pencil to write the translation on the music. And for me, most times I write. Sometimes I write the translations. If there are spaces to write the translation under the music, I write it. If they are not, I write it on top of this stuff. 
so that will help me to understand what this translation is. Apart from writing this translation, then you also need to understand this. You need to know what it is. If they ask you what is the beast the rule, you need to just say it immediately. The beast the rule. You are the rest. But when we translate it in English, we say you are rest. Because of um, German language, um, German nouns always carry articles along with them, and there is the, there the, um, I say there the das. Then they have den, they have them. There are several articles depending on the case in which you are working on. Okay, so you write this um, translation down on your music like I have shown you before. So you need to now, the next step is study. Like I study, study, know every meaning of every word, mark your thought changes. By the time you know the meaning of what you're singing, you know, okay, here in this case, this is where I am going to have, okay, a thought change. What, I'm, what do I mean by thought change? It's um, majorly, it majorly comes out for us as singers when we see the word, but, B-U-T. When we see that word, you are like, oh my God. But the thought changes are when somebody is moving from one, one meaning or one expression of, of um, feeling to the next expression of feeling. You don't dwell on the same, the same way you say this is not the same way you're going to say this. But they can't, they have to be linked. So you have to mark that on your score and that will help you on the expression. That will help you on your expression. It's seriously, your phrasing and your expression, it's, it helps a lot. Then you can also mark your dynamics as the next step. You can work on mark your dynamics on the music. If it doesn't have dynamics, there are some some period they don't really write so much dynamics on it. You just put your dynamics by yourself, okay? And your dynamics you don't just you don't just write dynamics. You also have to consider the the, the mood of the of the of the music, or the phrase of the music you're singing. You have to also consider the grammatical phrase. So you don't just put dynamics anywhere you see, and also think about when you're saying one word twice to emphasize on it. You know what to do. You, you, you don't say it the same way. Okay, then there's this many people don't like doing. Read the text, the original text. In this case, we're using the Beast the Rule by Franz Schubert. You you use you write the original text. You read the original text on the rhythm of the music. So you can decide to add a dynamics while you're doing that. So in this case, the music goes tam ta chan cha 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 cha. Okay, so in this case, what I'm gonna do is do beast the rule, dear freedom, milt die sucht du und was sie stillt. So you have to read this, this will help you through when you are when you start applying the, 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 the when you start going through the music or uh, the melody of what you're doing then it's also important for you the next step is also important for you analyze the me melody and accompaniment please in this case i'm not saying you're going to do so much analysis in you don't need to dwell so much on analysis except when you are your 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 writing um, a program's notes that uh, are of a higher level in academy uh, you can now start doing all those but you don't need that much but just analyze the the, the music to know the phrasing to to to, to, um, to know how the melody goes what form is it written where am i heading to 
where are the cadences or oh, in this place do i have um, perfect cadence or imperfect cadence um do i have an um, interrupted cadence here yeah. oh is there a modulation in this place why is there a modulation and where is the modulation heading to in relative to what where am i doing it a lot of a lot of a lot a, 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 a lot of Things that you can look at, but don't go so deep into into this. <laughs> it can be boring. <laughs> you get tired immediately, but just do a little bit of it. Just understand where the music is heading to and where. Uh, uh, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so that's that. Then, if if you need to add ornaments, depending on the period. In this case, there's nothing like ornament you're going to add in this. In Baroque, you can add ornament when the A session is coming back again and see or a session is repeated, a phrase is repeated, you can do something different from what you have done before. At some point, you can listen to recordings, but I'm not suggesting that you should start with listening to recording. Then, here, if by the time you do all these things, then you now start learning your notes now. So when you get your music, don't jump into learning the notes because you're still going to be running around the circle. Things that you should have done before, you jump them into that. But so this this at this moment is when you not learn your learn your notes and apply the words to the melody. You have your style of learning your music. I'm not going to say this is the best style, this is that style, blah, blah, blah. Do the one that works for you and that works faster for you. So when you're done with learning your music, then uh, there are some techniques in which you have learned. You can apply them in the music at that particular time you are learning them. So this moment you keep practicing and practicing over and over again before you think of rehearsing with um um, an accompanist or taking it into your, your to your teacher or you start um, presenting it in, or performing it in front of a group of friends who could give you one hint or the other. So these are the few um, things that you, 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 you need to do when you're learning the music. Then apart from these, by the time you have done all these things, you find out that it's easy for you to memorize the music because you have read through the text severally, you've understood what you're saying severally, you have read through the text on the rhythm, applying the music and learning the music gradually, you're memorizing. Your brain is getting it, your brain is visualizing it, your brain is magneting it, your brain is taking what you're feeding in, feeding, feeding, it, feeding into it. So it, it, when you now want to start doing your memorization, it becomes very easy. You know, when you sing something over and over or do something over and over, it helps you. So it's very important. Take this from me. It's very important. You read your texts, understand the text without the music, read the text separately. Your brain has a part of the side of the side. It stores that. You do your, um, you learn your music. I uh, see these are two things so when you're having problems running out of as in trying to get blank you remember that oh your text is here it's easier for you to pick from that part of the brain pull back it into your music and your performance will go smoothly i hope this will help you in in learning any music as i have used them um, and do Beast the rule by franz schubert to demonstrate a little um a little bit on how to approach any song that you are preparing for a performance, preparing for an audition, preparing for um, 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 concerts. So whichever one you are preparing for, this guide, this might help you. Okay, thank you so much for this. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a lovely day.